Good afternoon. It is July 8th, 2024, 4.54 p.m. episode 2574. This is the cartoon drawn last week for the Fredericksburg Advance. Uh, I I drew this on the train. Um, and I think when did I start this? I, yeah, I think I started the whole thing on the train and I finished it at Matt Davies, Lucy Davies uh, dining room. So, uh, but I didn't have that much left. I think I finished it the night that I arrived. And I knew it was early because I wasn't going to run until Sunday, which, you know, was yesterday. But having a lot to do this week with the traveling and shit, and, uh, I, I thought it'd be really cool to go ahead and get it out. They talked to me the night before the, the advance about uh, when I would do the cartoon and stuff and, and gave me the subject that they wanted me to do. And, and that was cool. And I did a couple of ideas. And I like the other one better. And uh, instead of my editor, but, but he proposed it to uh, a committee or something like that, and they picked this one. But I like the other one better. I, I just thought it was artistically better, uh, just a better vision. And I'm going to use it for something someday. So, because it's something I've never really done before. So, um, this is done. Uh, I went to get lunch today after I drew today's cartoon. And so I walked to this uh, area that I walked through before, like when I first got off the, the subway to get here. Uh, when I was riding for Long Island, and it's not the best neighborhood. I mean, there's garbage all over the place. There. And I don't just mean literally, there's like bags of garbage and stuff. And there's auto part places. You, you hear a lot of noise, a lot of riveting and shit. But I, I figured I could find something decent to eat down there, something that would be unique, maybe something ethnic or so. And I walked, right, I walked past a food truck without seeing it. I should have stopped there, but I stopped at this one place. It, it was new, did this Indian and Chinese. and. I get some food there, and as I'm about to walk out, the, well, I was trying to walk out the door, there's this huge guy standing in the doorway, like outside, like he, and I thought he went to walk in, so I'll hold the door open for him, but he doesn't want to come in. And one of the guys that works at the restaurant is like, get out of here, get out of here, yelling at him. Apparently he's been there before. But no, the guy won't move, and, he, and he's looking at me, and he's like, give me some money, boss, boss, give me some money, boss, help me out. And I'm like, no, I can't. And then he says, boss, get it, give me some money so I don't go to jail for murder. And I'm thinking, did this guy threaten me? Or is he gonna like take like two bucks I give him to hire a, a defense attorney or something like that because he just murdered somebody. Anyway, I, I get past him. I don't touch him, but I get past him. And as I'm walking down the street, he's yelling at me. And I think that, you know, it's just as I get going, his, it'll, it'll fade, it'll go away. But no, this guy jumps on a bicycle and he starts following me. And he gets down to where I am and he starts yelling again for money. And then he's like, why won't you give me no money? Why won't you give me no money? Why won't you give me no money? But anyway, that's a little bit scary. A little bit, but I still wasn't scared. So I mean, just a situation kind of scary. It's hard to describe it. Anyway, uh, and I really did not want to hit the guy because he was really big. And not just that, I was worried about him hitting me back, but I don't think I could have hurt him because he was just, well, he was fat. So, but fat and, but not too fat that he couldn't ride a bicycle. Anyway, Robert Cortino, thank you for the comments. Sorry, sorry if I woke you up. Goodbye.